Yes, we'll see what happens. Let's turn to the terrible story, which is John Kerry's statement on Syria this morning. I can't find coherence here, Senator Graham. Can you? Well, let's just don't limit it to this statement. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't find coherence in Obama's foreign policy. What did he say on Syria? Uh, he said, asked if there, whether there's an opportunity to use Russia and Iran's influence in Syria to halt Assad's use of barrel bombs. He said, absolutely. He raised the issue, he said, in meetings with both Russia and Iran, quote, they are both in position in exchange perhaps for something that we might do. They might decide to keep Assad from dropping barrel bombs. It's just (laughs) nuts. You know, all I can say is that Secretary Kerry, I don't question his motives. I just question his judgment. President Obama's foreign policy is in free fall. To try to spin this to a good news story is beyond delusional. There is nothing good between a Russian, Syrian, Iran, Iraq alliance. This is a nightmare for U.S. foreign policy. It's terrible for our Arab allies. It means ISIL can recruit against Assad forever. It means the Russians have a foothold. The three biggest winners uh, on Obama's watch in terms of foreign policy have been the Iranians, the Russians, and radical Sunni, Sunni Islamists. This is a incredible construct. Secretary Kerry is pushing. He also said, and I quote, there was agreement that Syria should be a unified country, united, that it needs to be secular, that ISIL needs to be taken on, and that there needs to be a managed transition. That actually, I translate, shorter version, Iran's going to run everything, and we're going to just need a decent <laughs> interval before they attack Israel. Am I right? Well, well, I can't think of a more secular power than Iran. When you think <laughs> of secular government, you can't help but think of the Ayatollah. <laughs> I know I that, mean, is, this, are you are you pulling my leg? Did he really? No, that? I am reading to you from the Reuters report because it is so, so unbelievable. For a unified Syria, secular in nation, in nature, Russia's wherever the mandate takes the Syrian people, they will live with the outcome of free and fair election. This is insane to think that the Russians are for a unified Syria, wherever the mandate of the people takes them. Uh, is okay with the Russians, and that Iran is supporting a secular Syria. This is nuts. Uh, Secretary Kerry described President Vladimir Putin's meeting as, quote, genuinely constructive, very civil, <laughs> with a very candid discussion. <laughs> well, I guess he didn't hit him. Now, that's the good news. <laughs> but the, 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 the bottom line is this is a very big shift in Mideast uh, policy, all to our detriment. Russia supporting Assad means that the war in Syria never ends because the Sunni extremists have a recruiting opportunity for the ages. He's an Alawite associated with Iran. Now he has Russian backing. So I thought we were going to get a dividend from this deal with Iran. John Kerry told us it would create an opportunity to have Syria uh, in a different place because Iran and Russia would help us. John Kerry, they're not helping us. They're propping up the mortal enemy of the Syrian people. Uh, the magnet of Sunni extremists. Our president says Assad should go. The Russian president has sent tanks and airplanes. Guess who's winning this contest? 